huge breaking news. We have a publication that Barack Obama put out where he was bragging that he was born in Kenya. We have his wife on video twice saying it. I wasn't a birther four and a half years ago. It was the Hillary Clinton campaign that first put that out because they had a dossier on him and the Clintons are famous for having all the old files from when Clinton was president. They still basically run much of Washington. But Hillary was bringing that out, I later learned, because it was true. Now, when she was defeated by him, she joined with him. But there's been big, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. It's on DrudgeReport.com right now. It's on Breitbart. Barack Obama, the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review, was born in Kenya and raised in Indonesia and Hawaii. That's actually what the research shows. And what is this from? It is from a book uh, promotion put out by his literary agent that Barack Obama approved of. The vetting exclusive Obama's literary agent 91 booklet, born in Kenya, raised in Indonesia, and Hawaii. He had the name Barry Sataro and all these other names. They sealed all his records. Uh, his friends said that he was from Kenya. I mean, his wife said it over and over again. And, and here it all is. Here's the full you know, breakdown by the publisher of all their people, and there it is, Barack Obama. This is the reality. Now, let me show you this next video that I've got right here. This is Michelle Obama saying that he went back to his homeland, Kenya, to fight AIDS. Here it is. Surrounding HIV testing, which is still plaguing so many of our communities, uh, which you all know, a lot of that is due to homophobia. Uh, Barack has led by example. Uh, when we took our trip to Africa and visited his home country in Kenya, uh, we took a public HIV test uh, for the very point of showing uh, folks in Kenya that there is nothing to be embarrassed about in getting tested. Uh, and we did it as a couple. Wow. Wow is all I can say right now. Listen, my listeners demand that I look into this. And first they said that the old uh, birth certificate was the birth certificate when it was a receipt and printed off a computer. Then they put out that bad fake, which was fake. I want to put this to bed. Obama's funded by Goldman Sachs and the globalists. Obama is launching wars of congressional approval. Obama is launching drones in the skies of America. I want to go after him on, him on the issues. But the point is, it's true. He's not who they say he is. It turns out uh, the book about him that they put out is basically all fiction and has been proven to be a lie. The truth is we don't know who this guy is, but his own literary agent said born in Kenya, lived in Indonesia, and then Hawaii, and that's exactly what the records and evidence shows. And the point is he can be blackmailed with this information. That's why he's so controlled by the Chicago mob and the banksters and Corzine who can steal billions from MF Global. This is huge news. And the Breitbart people that broke this digging into Obama, they're like, no, Breitbart didn't believe this, but we've got to look at it. This is incredible. This isn't some typo where they say, you know, some word is wrong or get his mom's name wrong or something. This was put out, vetted publicly, and that's why all his other records are sealed. He's got all these other names. It's incredible. Look into it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be covering it tonight on the Nightly News, 7 o'clock. We're trying to get Dr. Corsi uh, on about this. And, of course, on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, Infowars.com. Get this out everywhere. Added to the pile of evidence, this is the smoking gun. His own literary agent, born in Kenya. His grandma born in Kenya. Dr. Corsi goes over there to cover it and to investigate, gets arrested. The Bush, we now learn, during the election, sent a letter, and the Kenyan government came back and said the records of his birth have been stolen. That document's public. Well, it means he was born there. The records were cut out of the files. Ladies and gentlemen, Barack Obama is a total, absolute cutout. He is a Manchurian candidate. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. We have the Breitbart stuff posted at InfoWars.com. So please get it out to everybody.